So what's going on YouTube, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 8th React Native tutorial in which we're going to take a look at what style sheets are in React Native and basically just create a little application as well um, surrounding around that concept. So let's get started. Okay so now you can see that on the left I have my device opened again and on the right we can see the code which, is, which was responsible in the last tutorial for just toggling off this color. So let's just get rid of all of this stuff and let's just see what these style sheets are okay so what's the deal with them is and I'm let me just actually just change it to tabs yep all right so what's happening here is that basically you create some sort of styles in react just like you do on the web and react native converts them into native um, properties associated with those particular elements right so for example um, you can position a view somewhere you can um, basically change the properties like color of the text um, its opacity and background and stuff like that so what we have right now is um, with react native what's the thing is that all the layouts would be actually flexbox based right so what that means is that every view container here every element is um, basically would follow the flexbox system which comes from the web on um, with CSS right so by that what I mean is that all these elements have by default a display flex property associated with them and you cannot actually change it react just works on flexbox system so what we can do is basically right here we can try to create a very simple um, kind of like an interface so what that would be is let's just say um, half screen would be let's just say red half would be green right so this is our container let me just go ahead and create another view here uh, let me just say that I have styles dot half with this right and I end this view and what I'm gonna do is just Lift, leave this container with flex of one which means just specific um, get all the space if it's the only child justify content let, let me just get rid of these first and let me just um, get rid of this as well right so what I'm gonna do now is say let's say half as flex of one and then background color of um, let's just say red and let's just name this half one right and let's just get and name this half two and we're going to do a similar thing to this and what we're going to do here is say half two and then background color of blue right so what's the thing here and again by default on the web um, flexbox follows a flex direction of row right but on react native it follows by default a flex direction of column so now if i just go back to my device shake it a little here and just reload it you should see that we get a red and a blue column here uh, let me just reposition this right here so you see that our half one is red and our half two is blue and as you can see that by default it follows a flex direction of column instead of row so if you want a row, then you can specify the here, flex direction, and then row, and hit save. And actually, I can just enable um, something known as hot reloading here. So you should be able to see changes without me shaking that device. So if I just remove the statement again, hit save, you can see that hot reloading at its best can just do it automatically. Right? So that's the thing. Okay, now let, let's just go ahead and create some complex layouts, right? So what we can do now, and basically if you just know how to play around with Flexbox, it's kind of easy to do. So we can say like styles dot half to one. And we can just say a similar thing on half to two. And for here I can say half to one. It has a let's just say 
flex of one again and background color of let's just say green and half of two two is also flex of one and background color is yellow right well, let me just get a comma here and now if you go ahead and see you can see that okay it kind of is not looking like it should and the reason for that is because what we want basically is that uh, yeah it's actually working fine because as I said flexbox works in the um, flex direction of column so what we can do is just change this half to right here to flex direction of row right and you can see that uh, and actually what we can just dismiss that you can see that now we have got a bigger element and then two smaller elements in their way now again it really depends on how much you know about flexbox layouts right so you can just practice them on the web and that would be kind of similar thing on the um, on here as well so here's a way to actually display it in two is to one ratio so green takes 66.66% um, of the width and um, this yellow takes 33.33 and there we are so basically now you can just go ahead and include some sort of text with them as well so this is 2 1 right and you can do a similar thing here with um, let's just say this is 2 2 and this is 1 right so now if we take a look you see that it's kind of ugly so what we can do is just apply a style of let's just say styles.text here to every text element and we can just customize them thereafter just like that so we can just say um, color is white and then let's just say font size is let's just say 30 like that and uh, one more thing what I want to do here is just say that these half ones and half twos right here have a justify content of center and again if you can observe that these JavaScript values follows camel casing right so um, what happens here is that uh, if the CSS property was like this then you remove the dash and you make the next letters first word capital first letter next words first letter capital actually so here we are justify content center aligned items center as well so this would just center the text inside the block similarly we can do this to 2 1 and 2 2 and again this word let me just make them equal width here and uh, let's just change this from yellow to let's just say um black so that the text is visible because yeah i can see it on my device straight away that it was not visible so i knew so here we are and now if i take a look you can see that we got our text centered and all that great stuff right so um okay one more thing let's just say uh, we can see that half two one and half two do are sharing a lot of common stuff right apart from the background color they are actually same so what we can do is just we can make something like half 2x as a class and actually I can just apply all that common stuff right here because it's a good practice as well as well as it will just make um, your code much cleaner and easier to read now we can just get rid of this apart from that background color right so now what I want to do is basically apply um, half 2x to both of these elements so how would I do that well to do that what I'm gonna do is instead of supplying this just an object I'll supply this an array of objects and they would be applied in the order in which you supply them so I'm gonna supply it half 2x right here so I'm gonna say styles dot half 2x and similarly to um, R here styles have to x and right now it does not really matter because the properties do not you know overlap each other so 
the precedence does not really matter here. Now you can see that our code looks much more cleaner and um, less than the previous one and we can just apply multiple style sheets to our elements as well. Mm, so yeah that's basically it and you can basically supply any object you want here you can just associate, it, associate that object with your state as well and uh, then you when you would update that variable your render function would be called and your um, CSS applied um, styles would be updated as well to that element so yeah that's all for this video and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one